Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela. Here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, in particular for the woman over 40. Now, Mother's Day is right around the corner. She is two weeks away. We have two weeks to get those gifts and get them to our mothers, or if we're gonna purchase them and, and get them to ourselves, or we can take them to her. Or if you're like me, your mother lives out of town in another state, two weeks to get that item shipped to her. So yes, I have Mother Day gift ideas for this video. I tried to make certain that it was budget friendly. So I think I only have two items that are over a hundred dollars. So if you're looking for something that's really expensive, this is not going to be the video for you. I wanted to make certain that we could all have something that we could purchase something that was within our budget. And they're just things that I honestly would love to have for myself. So my children will be required to watch this video and they'll get some hint hints. Um, yeah, but I, I like all these items. So if you'd like to see the items that I have, they're in various categories, then stay tuned. Now, let's get started. So the first item on the list is for the mother that is a candle lover. She loves a bougie candle and it is the Capri candle. Now the one that I have here that's listed, I don't think it's quite this size, but it is the large size. And this candle is fantastic. This is the one that I got for Christmas. I get one every year. Yes, they are a bit expensive, around $100, but they last a long time. I've used this, it's kind of all the, all the way down, but they last a long time and the scent is amazing. When I like this, I don't need to like anything else. It just kind of goes throughout the entire house and I love it. I will get one of these every single year around Christmas. This is a fantastic gift for that mother that just loves a candle and she loves a nice scent and it's beautiful. Look how beautiful the jar is. The one that I'm showing you here is silver with some gold specks. So it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be a beautiful decor. She can sit it anywhere. It's not like those, you know, Bath and Body Works candles that I love as well, but this one looks beautiful. So if she loves candles and she loves a bougie candle, she's gonna love this one. So the next recommendation on the list is a perfume. It's the only perfume I'm gonna be recommending. And that's because it's a timeless scent. It's beautiful, it's mass appealing. I love it, my mother loves it, my daughter loves it. So I'm only gonna recommend this perfume because I have some other things to recommend. And it is the Coco Mademoiselle. She's popular, she's fantastic. Um, the set that I have here is a purse set or you can have it at home, but it's really nice because you can put it in your purse. I always carry a little small perfume in my purse in case I forget and I'm running out the door real fast or if I need to, if I have some on at home and then I need to re-up and I'll have some in my purse. But this set comes with two refills. It's right at $100 and it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. And I think any mother would love to have it. So the next item is also Coco Mademoiselle, but it is the body lotion. If your mother already has the perfume like I do, but does not have the body lotion, like I don't hint hint my children, then she probably would love to have the body lotion so she can layer the perfume on, I'm sorry, so she can layer the lotion with the perfume. The next item on the list is also from Coco Mademoiselle and it is the shower gel. Now I would love to have the shower gel. Now to have the shower gel so you can take your bath, have the shower gel, the scent is already on your skin, then you layer it with the body lotion, then you spray the perfume, you're gonna be smelling like Coco Mademoiselle all day long. So if your mother already has a perfume, the recommendation is for a body lotion or the shower gel, or you can get both of those, it'd be like $125. I'm certain that she would love it. I would certainly love it because I love the perfume. The next item on the list is also from um, Chanel, but it is the hand cream. Now, if, you're, if your mother is like me and she loves a little bougie moment, and there are little some things that I just, like that is just too much. I'm not gonna buy that, I'm not gonna buy that. But uh, would love to get it as a gift. This Chanel number no. five hand cream. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Chanel number no. five, but I hear that the hand cream is not as strong, it's not as scented as the actual perfume. And some people like that, some people don't. I would like, however, like the Chanel Never no. 5 hand cream. I love a luxurious smelling and feeling hand cream. It is a bougie moment. My husband got me the plain hand cream a couple years ago for Christmas and I had it in my purse and I loved having that when I was out and about and I needed a little moisturizer on my hand. I squeezed it and it was just, just a little bougie moment and I absolutely love it. That's around $58. So if your mother loves Chanel number no. five, giving her the hand cream to keep in her purse would be fantastic. Now, the next gift is for the mother that is a foodie who likes fine foods or who likes a nice delicious 
niblet of something in her mouth. And this is the Harry and David strawberry and chocolate gift set. And it's around $54. I don't know if you've ever tried Harry and David. I love the fruit is the, you've never had fruit like this unless you've gotten it up right off the tree or pear right off the tree or an apple right off the tree. I don't know where they get them from, where they grow them, but they're also, they're, I'm sorry, they're always very delicious. So this set has a uh, chocolate and then it has like, it looks like a white chocolate dipping sauce. The strawberries are huge. They look amazing. I would love, <laughs> I would love to have this. I love fruit. I really, really do. I have fruit every single day. But now if your mother wants a little bit more, if she ne doesn't necessarily like a chocolate, but she wants a variety of fruit, if she eats a variety of fruit, I, like I do, if you want something a little bit different than the strawberries, this is also from Harry and David and it's the Mother's Day gift basket. It has kiwi, orange, pear, um, different kinds of pears, different kinds of apples, and it has a nice, beautiful Mother's Day ribbon on top, and it comes in this nice whisker basket, and it's ready to be shipped now. So this will make a beautiful Mother's Day gift. Harry and David is always a fantastic gift option, regardless of the occasion. Now, if your mother loves a little charcuterie moment with a little libation on the side, Harry and David also has that. So I'm recommending this Supreme Meat and Cheese gift with wine. I would love to get this. Now I would have this. I will open this up and have it all, get it all set up. And so me and my husband can have this as a nice little treat while we're watching a nice movie. This would be a great gift if your mother loves wine. I don't know if you can choose the different wines. I think you can, not sure, but um, this is a fantastic, I love me a charcuterie moment. I love, it's not just a nice relaxing um, occasion. Like I just love the, I don't eat cheese. I love the meats and the crackers and the different um, types of jellies that I can put on the crackers. But this would make a beautiful gift if that is something your mother would indeed enjoy. The next gift is the gift for a mother who loves plants. Who lo This, she real too, all of my plants. If you see a plant in my house, it is real. Um, but these are, for the mother that loves a plant, I recommend this little Meyer, Petite Meyer lemon tree. You know how happy it will make me to have a little lemon tree in my house to sit in the window. I have no clue how tall it will grow, but it's definitely under a hundred dollars. And for a mother that loves plants and loves to have greenery around her home, something live, I think she would love this. I would love it. I'm just saying. So the next item is for that mother who loves gardening, who may not have a lot of space or who may not want to go out in the yard or wouldn't love to have a nice, nice little herb garden on her deck or on her back porch. But you, she doesn't want to do a whole lot, but she loves the idea of having an herb garden or some flowers right there. And it is this three tier stackable um, rolling planter. This is fantastic. It comes in gray, green, and a terracotta color. I like the gray personally myself. I want one of these. I'm, I'm telling my children, I want one of these. I want them so I can plant my herbs in them right on the, I was gonna say right on the front porch, <laughs> or right on the back porch. And I would love to plant strawberries in these. I think this is wonderful. I watched the video, you stack them, you put your herbs or whatever you're gonna, your flowers or whatever you're gonna put in it and you only have to water the top and the water goes all the way down to all three tiers. This is easy breezy, it doesn't take up much space at all. My recommendation is if you have a hundred dollars to spend on your mother to get her and if she likes this sort of, you think she like this sort of thing, is to get this three tier rolling planter and then go to like Lowe's or Home Depot, which are my favorite, or a nursery, a nursery would be even better. And if you know that she likes herbs, then you have enough money left over to buy various, some basil, some rosemary, get the basil, get the, <laughs> some basil, some rosemary, some thyme. And, and different herbs that she can plant and all because you have nine different spaces so you can get nine different herbs to put around the er the rolling planter. That would just, that's a very thoughtful gift for someone who loves the, loves the garden and who loves little herbs and, and things or someone who loves to cook and they have that all their herbs all in one place. And it's from HSN and the shipping is free. I think we've been sleeping on HSN. The next item is for the mother who likes a nice little moment when she gets out the shower. She just doesn't want to use the old house robe or something on, but this waffle robe, I have one. Mine is in brown. My daughter gifted it to me probably two Christmases ago and I love it. This one has a nice tie and it comes in five different colors. It comes in sizes extra small to extra large. And if you think your mother loves, I'm sorry, yeah, XX small to extra large. 
if you think your mother loves a robe or like it just feels like a hotel robe it feels like a spa robe i love mine i think this would be a fantastic gift so the next thing i recommend now if your mother you get your mother the robe once she gets out the shower and she's putting her she's put a lotion on she needs a, a nice body oil to to keep all that moisture in so that her skin can glow see this glow this glow is from the Shea Butter Bath and Body Oil. Now I'm, I'm plugging this. Yes, it is my daughter's brand, but I love it. Where's my bottle? My bo I, here's my bottle, hold on. H here's my current bottle. You see how much I have left? Can you see how much I have left in there? It's right there, it's right there. I use this every single day. She does have some body butter. <laughs> she does have some body butters, but my favorite is the hair and body oil. The body butters are nice as well, especially during the summertime because they're nice and they're a little heavier so they get in and get that dry skin and gets it nice and supple. But the body oil, the hair and body oil is just easy. I put my lotion on, then I squeeze it in my hand and I do my body. And then once I do my hair, even though I have a little bit, I still do my hair. I put my products on my hair and then once I get that in, I put the oil in my hand and I rub it and I rub it all over my head to keep the moisture in and give my hair a nice sheen. See that sheen? So if you ever wonder how my hair looks so healthy, it's from that hair and body oil. I use it every single day on my hair and on my skin. She owe me some money from plugging her again. So the next items are all from Amazon. And the first one is this monogram tote. I don't know about you. I love my name on everything. <laughs> if it has an A on it or if it says Angela, I'm gonna love it automatically. I think this, this canvas tote is nice. It's perfect for a beach, it's perfect for vacation. Or if you have like a nice little corner store, or a little market, you wanna go and get a few things, you can take this canvas tote and you can put your little groceries in that. But she can use it so many different ways and the price is great. Right now I think it's $19.99 and it's something that you can put some of the items that I'm gonna talk about a little bit later in as well. The next item is an insulated cup. It has number one mom with a heart on it. I would love something like this. Anyone that has children would love something like this, especially if they like to drink all day long or I use mine for coffee. I have certain cups, insulated cups for ice water and I have other ones that I use for coffee, but this would just make me smile because it has mom on it and it has like for the nutritional facts, it says caring, multitasking, patient sleep, all those sort of things. It's just something that says, I appreciate you, especially if you have a mother that drinks, likes her insulated cups and likes to drink her coffee or her beverages out of an insulated cup. So the next item is a Stanley cup. I know they're expensive. Here's mine. I bought mine probably a couple of months ago. I was telling y'all that I was gonna get me one. It is a 40 ounce cup. I, I use this all day. Every you hear, There's water in it right now, ice water in it right now. But it stays cold. I can put ice water in it before I go to bed. And if I forget it and leave it there, the ice will be gone, but the, the water in the cup will still be cold. It, cold, it holds that coolness all day long. Yes, it's $45 for the color that I'm showing you, but some of them are more expensive. I don't understand why a pink one or orange one would be $70 versus $45, but the colors, um, the price varies depending on the color on Amazon, but it is worth every penny. So if you have, like I said, $100 again that you're gonna spend on your mother, my recommendation is to get that bag, a monogram bag with her initial on it, and then get several items to put in it. And the Stanley Cup would be one that I would definitely recommend. She would love it, she would appreciate it, especially if she's trying to drink a lot more water throughout the day. It's a great reminder why it's sitting there, it's a big cup, fits into your car um, cup holder, but it's sitting there so it'll help remind her to drink as much water as she can throughout the day. Now the next item on the list is also a tumbler. If you say that Stanley cup is just a bit much, I don't have $45. I found one that is around $30 and it comes in various colors. It's actually a lot more <laughs> pretty, prettier than the Stanley cup. It's beautiful, it comes in pink and green and all, all different colors, purple. They have um, colors that fade in and out from one color to the next, but the, the ratings are very well on it and I think this would make a great gift as well. If you don't want to do the Stanley Cup, this will make a great um, alternative. The next item is for that parent that may have carpal tunnels or arthritis, and it is the hand massager that has a heating element. So it 
massages the hand all the way up to the wrist and it can warm it can be warm while it's massaging it has different levels of massage different levels of heat this is a very very thoughtful gift like my daughter has carpal tunnels from typing so much so i'm gonna i'm gonna tell her <laughs> i'm gonna tell her husband about this i think this would be a, a great mother's day gift for a mother that has that something that's going to help her relax when she comes home from school or comes i'm sorry school is work if she comes home from work and she just sit there and stick her hand each side for maybe 10 minutes and help massage while it's warm and just a nice relaxing thing that she can do for herself the next item on the list is for that mother who travels quite a bit and it is a makeup organizing bag now i know they have bags like this everywhere but this one is a little unique it opens up and sits flat on the counter and i think that is wonderful it has two zippers so it opens from the middle it has multiple compartments you have compartments on the side where you can sit your little spray bottles it has a, a slot down the middle where you can put the brushes and it has two large open compartments on each side so that she can put her makeup it comes in various colors black a nice seafoam green, purple, white, uh, terracotta color. I think this is beautiful. I probably will get one of these because my makeup bag is, is huge that I travel with. And that's because I had a lot of hair. Um, and because I don't need the brush and all the other stuff that I used to use for my hair now, I need a much smaller bag. And I like the concept of this one that folds over and you can just sit it on the counter and have to worry about it. it. I like the ones that hang on the back of the door as well, but I like something a little smaller. I like to have the option of having something a little bit smaller. And last but not least, this is a definite item that should go in the bag. If you have a mother that, ha that works in the office or a mother that works from home, that likes a nice hot cup of tea or a hot cup of coffee, this is perfect. I was asked, I had one and I gave it to my husband and now he don't know where it is and I need a new one. Now I do drink my coffee out of insulated um, mugs, but I love drinking out of a coffee cup as well. But I don't drink my coffee fast and I don't like cold coffee unless it's ice cold with ice. I don't like room temperature coffee. I like for my coffee to stay hot. And so I end up wasting coffee when I drink it out of a coffee mug. And you do know I have, a, um, I collect coffee mugs. I have at least 75 Starbucks coffee mugs from all over the world. But anyway, I digress. I like to drink my coffee out of a coffee mug sometimes, but I don't because they get cools down. Anyway, this desktop coffee mug warmer, it keeps your coffee warm and it works by pressure. So it's, when you stick the cup down on it, it turns it on. When you pick the cup up, it turns it off. Somebody was very, very thoughtful. That, that's very thoughtful. You don't have to worry about it overheating or forgetting about it. The outside of it stays nice and cool. Only that plate stays hot so it keeps your coffee warm. I, I want one of these. I want, I want, one, I want the black one. Shadia, Owen, Evie, um, honey, I want the black one. Yes, this is a great gift for an office mother. That's it, that's the last one. Have a blessed day.